for you this evening at your table when you have the results from the last council meeting where since it's going to be heard Mr. Deb Robinson and what we're working with him on uh, his concern. So please look over that. Let me know if you have any questions with that. Uh, Thursday, February 24th, which is today, right after this, of course, is the Chamber's uh, uh, banquet. At five, it started at 5.30, but we're going, I'm going to be very brief in the rest of my comments. So just to remind everybody that who may have forgotten, on March 3rd, uh, the Boy Scouts will be uh, having their Building Leaders Campaign Dinner at 6 p.m. at the Conference Center. Big guest speaker is all of our friends, Mr. Mike Mutual, so he always does such a great job with his presentations. And with the Civil House, does have a table for this event, so please let us bold and know if you plan to attend. Friday, March 4th through Sunday, March 6th, the 6th Annual Georgia Film, Fest Film Festival will be held by Asta State. If you haven't attended one of these before, it's really an interesting process. I've done this a couple of times, and it's really uh, a good Saturday to spend out there on the campus of BSU and see what takes place in filmmaking. And this is not about filmmaking, it's, it's other things we've done presentations in the past of what it takes to make a film in our city, our community, and the ordinance structure and things of that nature. So it's a little bit of something for everybody. If you've not done that before, I'd invite you to do that. Saturday, March 5th, our police department will have open testing beginning at 9 a.m. at our annex building. Friday, March the 18th, just a reminder about our uh, strategic summit that starts there. Uh, we'll be there all day Friday, and we're going to be there all day Saturday, uh, it looks like. Uh, for some of the requests, we've already had some citizens be heard uh, this afternoon. Uh, Monday, April 11th, the 13th annual, wow, 13th annual City Gun 101 class, 101 class will begin at 530 at our council chambers. We'll kick it off here. And then we'll go from there for the next six weeks with the folks learning about the different departments here at the city. Always, always a popular event. Um, so you can, um, then they're going to accept the applications through March 18th. So, you know, folks that, some folks that you'd like to get on that, please, please have them come up there and we'll get them signed up and, and be ready to go. Um, lastly, this evening, um, if you recall a few weeks ago, we sent out an email. Uh, congratulating Ms. Ellen Hill for being elected president uh, by her peers for the State Main Street Association or, or an association close to that. Uh, she will have to resign that position because she's accepted the position with the Department of Community Affairs in a, in a, in a good next progressive move for Main Street Director. So I want Ellen to come forward this evening so we congratulate her. Yeah, you know, I think so many folks forget about 
you know, we, we hear about Main Street, we know about the food truck events and the fun things, the farmers markets, things like that, but, but so much more economic development goes into it. And that's really Ellen, that's really the Ellen's expertise, is the economic development and the, the building of our economy. So um, we're certainly gonna miss Ellen, but uh, we've had several Main Street directors that went through uh, these the, the next step with DCA or even with the Economic Development Commission. Uh, so really, really proud for her. Like she said, she will be around. She doesn't have to move and leave by my stuff. And the good part is she will be making sure we stay in compliance after she leaves. So we should be making some good grades on, on her, her testing. I'm hoping. <laughs>